Hello and welcome to Continuous of Gangtai Radio and Television Station. Here are today headlines. The National Assembly Standing Committee concluded its 35th session following 1.5 days under the chairmanship of Chairman Jiang Tianmen. An online conference to review the first six months of 2024 by the Government Inspectorate. A preliminary conference to review three years of implementing Liberal Conclusion Number no. 01 by Gangta City Business Sector Party Committee. Top news today. On the afternoon of July 11, under the leadership of National Assembly Chairman Zheng Tanmeng, the National Assembly Standing Committee concluded its 35th session, fully 1.5 days of dedicated, serious and highly responsible work. In his closing speech, National Assembly Chairman Zheng Tanmeng stated that the session had completed all its proposed content and program, including passing three resolutions on the organizational structure of investigation agencies and the procuracy, and two resolutions on budget and investment adjustments. He urged agencies to finalize draft resolutions for approval. Based on the submissions, verification reports, and opinions of National Assembly Standing Committee, the chairman requested agencies to promptly refine draft resolutions for his signature. Highlighting the heavy workload until the end of Q3 2024, he outlined the committee's schedule. A session in July, expected July 22nd to 23rd, a legal session in August, and two regular sessions in August and September. Additionally, there will be a full-time conference for deputies and preparation for a forum on supervision activities. The chairman and vice chairman will also engage in key foreign affairs activities. On July 11 morning, the government inspectorate held an online conference to review the first six months of 2024 and outline the task for the inspectorate sector for the remaining six months of the year. The conference was chaired by Mr. Duang Hongfeng, a member of the Party Central Committee and Inspectorate General of the Government. In the first six months of the year, the industry conducted 3,910 administrative inspections and over 58,000 specialized inspections. The government inspectorate also reviewed and reported on 102 complex complaints and denunciations to the Prime Minister. Efforts were made to improve the quality and efficiency of citizen reception and complaint resolution, with a higher resolution rate than the previous year. At the conference, delegates discussed issues like specialized inspections in construction planning. The inspectors wrote in advising on complaint resolution and innovation solutions for citizen reception and handling complaints. Government Inspectorate General Duang Hongfeng directed the sector to continue urging and guiding localities to complete specialized inspection plans on public service responsibilities, planning and construction, and to resolve large, complex complaints and denunciations. On the afternoon of July 11, Gangta City Business Sector Party Committee held a preliminary conference to review three years of implementing Liberal Conclusion No. 01, summarized the task completed in the first six months of the year and outlined the task for the last six months of 2024. After three years of implementing Conclusion No. 01, Gangta City Business Sector Party Committee has seen substantive and in-depth improvements in studying and following Ho Chi Minh's ideology, ethics and styles, resulting in significant positive changes among party committees organizations, officials, members, and workers. In the first half of the year, the party committee led and directors, grassroots committees, and business leaders to focus on political tasks, overcome difficulties, and maintain production and business activities, ensuring employee income and benefits. Social security work, with a total value of over 8 billion Vietnamese dong, was carried out regularly. Chairman of the City of Vietnam Fallen Front Committee, Nguyen Trung Nhân, express hope that the business sector party committee would build on its successes and continue to effectively study and follow Ho Chi Minh's ideology, ethics and style, completing production and business tasks. Gangta City People's Committee has recently released Plan No. 133 KHUBND, outlining the strategy for agricultural mechanization, processing agriculture, forestry, and aquatic products and establishing concentrated agricultural production area in the cities by 2030. The plan aims to enhance productivity, quality, economic efficiency, and environmental sustainability 
in concentrated agricultural production areas in Canta City. By 2030, all major agricultural production areas and raw material zones for specialty products will be fully mechanized. The city will also focus on developing high-tech, sustainable agriculture and expanding processing capacity to meet market demands for safe, competitive products. The City People's Committee has tasked the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development to lead and coordinate implementation, involving city departments, district people's committee, and relevant agencies. The estimated budget for the plan is nearly 16 billion Vietnamese dong, sourced from the state budget and public contributions. On July 11 morning, the Ministry of Justice conducted an online training conference focused on enhancing legal dissemination and education skills for legal reporters and officers from ministries, agencies, and organizations at both central and local levels across the country. During the conference, participants receive an overview of key components, tasks, and strategies outlined in decision number 279 of the Prime Minister, which approved the project Capacity Building for Legal Reporters and Educators in Ethnic Minorities and Mountainous Areas from 2024 to 2030. They also discussed decision number 315, which approves the project enhancing grassroots mediators' capacities from 2024 to 2030. The agenda included crisis communication skills for communicating draft legal policies, techniques for legal education dissemination on social media platforms, and approaches to addressing challenges encountered in legal education efforts by agencies, units, and localities. The Ministry of Health proposes allowing couples to decide the timing, birth interval, and number of children, ensuring suitable health and income conditions. According to the Population Law Project's impact assessment, the replacement fertility rate is at a 12-year low and is expected to decline further. In 2022, the total birth rate was 2.01 children per woman, dropping to an estimated 1.96 in 2023. Urban areas with developed economies showed a trend of having fewer or no children, with the Saudis and Mekom Delta experiencing significant fertility declines. In contrast, regions with challenging economic and social conditions have high fertility rates, exceeding 2.5 children per woman. To maintain a replacement fertility rate of 2.1 children per woman, the Ministry of Health advises that couples and individuals decide on the timing, number and spacing of their children based on their circumstances. This proposal shifts from the current population ordinance, which limits couples to one or two children, except in special cases. On July 11 afternoon, Gangta City Red Cross Association held the sixth Executive Board Conference for the 2022-2027 term to review the association's work and the Red Cross movement over the first six months of the year, as well as to summarize Humanitarian Month 2024. In the past six months, the total value of activities and initiatives by the City Red Cross Association reached 74,193 billion Vietnamese dong, significantly contributing to social security policies in the area. Notable efforts include the Dead of Kindness Movement for the Lunar New Year 2024 and Humanitarian Month activities which raise 4,475 billion Vietnamese dong. They also coordinated with the city radio and television station to implement the One Humanitarian Address Every Week program and successfully organize the Dado Red Festival. Looking ahead, the association plans to coordinate with relevant units to organize community eye health care, continuing building Red Cross houses, and provide free medical examinations and medicine. It has been recently announced that Gang Thai University is one of nine Vietnamese institutions included in the 2024-2025 Best Global Universities Ranking by U.S. News and World Report. Accordingly, this period's ranking includes 2,250 leading higher education institutions from 104 countries and territories worldwide. In Vietnam, Gang Thai University is one of nine higher education institutions included in these rankings, with four newly named units, Gang Thai University, Nguyen Tất Thành University, Ho Chi Minh City University of Technology, and Hue University. 
US News and World Report's global university ranking is highly esteemed internationally. Beyond global rankings, US News and World Report evaluates universities, colleges, and high schools, aiming to assist parents and students in making informed decisions about their education. Coming up next is the weather forecast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.